A new report reveals the hidden recession and how it's taking its toll on chief marketing officers. With me is Curtis Spare to break down this report. So I was interested to see 69% of marketing leaders believe their industry is in a recession. Um, that's, I mean, almost 70%. That's quite a bit. What's going on with marketing? Well, we teamed up with Redpoint and CMO Huddles to look into this. And we discovered that, yeah, there's a big, exciting surge in AI. But if you're not in AI, you are kind of being left behind. And that means that there are all sorts of industries that are suffering right now. I know people in the Bay Area who tell me that for every one job, there's about 100 people applying for it. Mm. And with marketers, that means that there's less resources. And so they're having to decide where they push all their money and their budgets toward and how they could really get more out of what they're trying to do. So what are some of the trends that these budgets or lack thereof are leading to? It's almost like whack-a-mole. It's like you have less to spend and yet you have all the needs. And so what are you going to do? Are you going to continue with your email marketing? Are you going to continue with your social spend? And so they're having these sort of biblical choices about where they spend. And a lot of CMOs are telling me that they're still finding a lot of strength in earned marketing because that seems to be a lot more enduring and a lot more believable than what anyone might say about themselves. Mm -hmm. But it's still tough for them. And you know, the fact is, is that the CMO cycle is now shortened. You know, CMOs are lasting not as long as they used to. Okay. And they also uh, are having a longer runway when it comes to getting to their next place. Is AI taking marketing jobs or doing some of the marketing work? AI is disrupting the space like it's disrupting everything. And so CMOs are looking at AI as a way to uh, make more with less. But I think the big thing about AI is that it is the big you know, surging industry in the tech space. It's mm -hmm. the one that's doing well. However, because it looks like interest rates might you know, take a step back, mm -hmm. AI may also take a step back with all the other tech industries finally getting some relief. Would there be some like, unforeseen consequences in marketing because of this disruption that's going on? You know, right now, I think a lot of people are looking at the marketing mix and seeing what ways AI could change it and make it more fast and more intuitive mm -hmm. and in some ways more human. Sure. And I think that's the exciting part about AI. So that's what I was thinking. Maybe they can use AI to, I don't know, kind of, you know, go through some data and extract some valuable things and would help marketing jobs at some point. Right. Well, you know, right now, for example, we're seeing a trend where we'll be looking at what reporters are covering. And if a reporter hasn't been covering a story, we can use AI technology to get in front of that reporter and say, hey, we see all your other friends are doing this. Maybe you should be talking about this as well. Mm -hmm. Now, did the report find where people are spending their money and what's being effective in marketing these days? The report found that there is general pullback across the board. Okay. The places that people are really focusing uh, their time and money in is in uh, conversion campaigns where you know it's either lead gen or it's some sort of process to ensure that they make a sale. Mm -hmm. And where do you think this leads? And how, where is this going to go, say, in a year, one to three years or so? My prediction would be that uh, by this time next year, the economy is going to be a lot hotter. And I think that we're going to be seeing a different trend where, you know, marketers are going to be stretched because there's not enough of them. Okay. Very interesting. So Fingers things crossed. do turn quickly. So thanks so much, Curtis. Mm -hmm.